Alhamdulillah wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'd Ahl al-Sunnati wal Jama'ah is the victorious group. They are those people who the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam described in many ahadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam for example, where the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, If tarakat al-Yahud ala itta wa sab'een firqa, wa if tarakat al-Nasara ala thnatayn wa sab'een firqa, wa sataftariku hadhi umma ala thalatha wa sab'een firqa, kullaha fin nar ila wahida. Kulna man hiya ya Rasulullah, qala man kana ala mithi wa ma kana alayhi wa ashabi al-yawm. In this hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said that the Jews would break into 73 sects and the Christians into 72 sects and his ummah, his nation, the Muslims would break into 71 sects or 70 sects, all of them in the fire except one. And then his companions, radiallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'een said, they asked him, who are they, Ya Rasulullah? And meaning those who will be saved from the hellfire, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, men kana ala mithli, those who are upon what I'm upon and my companions. In this hadith of the Prophet وسلم, it makes it clarifies for us who Ahl Sunnah is. But then the question comes in practicing this and actualizing this and understanding this Nas and trying to practice it on individuals. Are we from Ahl Sunnah? That's what we have to ask ourselves. So if we want to associate ourselves with Ahl Sunnah, that means we have to have the creed of Ahl Sunnah, the Aqeedah, the belief of Ahl Sunnati with Jama'ah. Meaning we believe in the six pillars of Iman and Tu'minu Billahi wal Malaikati wal Kutubi wa Rasuli wal Yawm al Akhir, Tu'minu bi Qadri Khairi wa Shar. That we believe in Allah, we believe in His messengers, we believe in the divine books like the the Quran, the Bible, the uh, and the Torah of uh, of Musa alayhi salatu salam and we believe in the angels and we believe in all the messengers and we believe in the uh, day of judgment and we believe in the divine destiny the good and the and the bad of it all of those things that is from the arkan uh, of iman those are from the pillars of iman that's a part of the creed of Ahl sunnah so Ahl sunnah we believe what is affirmed for us in the Quran and the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam if a person adheres to Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah or the creed of Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah or considers himself from Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah, then they call themselves by the names of Ahl Sunnah. They refer to themselves as Muslim or they refer to themselves as Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah or they refer to themselves as Ahl Athar or they uh, refer to themselves as, uh, as Ahl Hadith or they refer to themselves as the Salafiyun or whatever other names that are taken from the Quran and the Sunnah and the understanding of the Salaf al the pious predecessors, radiallahu ta'ala anhu majma'een. And Ahl Sunnah holds on to the principles that are espoused in the Quran and the Sunnah and that were practiced and uh, codified by the Salaf al radiallahu ta'ala anhu majma'een. And Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah, they have the manners and characteristics of the Salaf al This is what they strive to have. They try to have the manners of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam who said, ma min shayin atkulu fi mezayna mu'min yawm al-qiyamah min husn al-khulq wa inna allaha yubghidu al-fahisha al-badhi al-fahisha al-badhi that there isn't a thing that weighs heavier on the scale of the believer on the day of judgment than good manners. And verily Allah hates sinful speech. This is the uh, manners of Ahl al-Sunnati wal Jama'ah. Ahl al-Sunnah, they hold on to the brotherhood of Islam. They don't separate themselves from the main body of the Muslims. They hold on to the jama'ah of the Muslims. The Prophet said, Alaykum bi sunnati wa sunnati wa khulafa al-rashidin al-mahdiin adhu alayha bi nawadij wa iyaakum muhtata thar al-amur fa inna kulla bid'at in dalala that the Prophet said, it is upon you my sunnah and the sunnah of the rightly guided predecessors, meaning uh, rightly guided Khalifat, meaning Abu Bakr, Wa Umar, Wa Uthman, Wa Ali, Radiallahu Ta'ala Anhu Majma'in. So Ahl Sunnah, their hearts are clean and in and, and with respect to the Sahaba to Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. We love the Sahaba. This is the uh, the, the characteristics of Ahl Sunnah. And Ahl Sunnah, they are not fearful of the blame of those people who 
who attack them, those people who slander them, those th people who try to belittle them and belittle their scholars. Ahl sunnah is not fearful of this. Ahl sunnah rather keeps practicing, keeps seeking knowledge, keeps spreading knowledge. And uh, the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "La tazal taifatun min ummati ala al haq mansura, la yudurhum min khalifuhum, wala min khadluhum, hatta yati amr Allah." So the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "They will not cease to be a group amongst my ummah." victoriously on the truth. They will not be harmed by those who oppose them, nor by those who desert them until the hour is established. So Ahl Sunnah will always be mojud. Ahl Sunnah is always present in the earth. They will, be, they, they will always be present on the earth until the last time before the Day of Judgment, until those signs of the Day of Judgment are fully uh, actualized, that the Day of Judgment is, is, is near because the Prophet ﷺ said in the last days, the worst of the creation will be alive at this time. And they won't even know who Allah is. And we ask Allah to protect us from that time and protect us from those characteristics of evil. Ameen. And so Ahl Sunnah, they're not fearful of the, the blame of the blamer. Ahl Sunnah keeps firm on the minhaj, the methodology of the Salaf Asari. Even if a certain group of people attack their character, even if a certain group belittle them, even if a certain group try to dishonor them, this is not something Ahl Sunnah has to, to, uh, to be too concerned with. Of course, they, they protect their own honor. And most importantly, they preserve and protect the deen of Allah from innovation, from bid'ah. And Ahl Sunnah is firm on Kitab Allah wa Sunnah to Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And they are firm away from bid'ah, from religious innovation and heresy. And they strive their best to be away from that. And if they make a mistake, then Ahl Sunnah is humble and they return back to Kitab wa Sunnah wa understanding of the Salaf. These are the characteristics of Ahl Sunnah. And we ask that Allah the Almighty blesses us with those characteristics and blesses us to be from Ahl Sunnah wa Jama'ah. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. And we ask Allah the Almighty to bless us to be on the hop. Amen.